Yo, what is up guys? This is DJ Frostbite and this is round 2 of my uh, video completion for the, uh this uh today. And um I really wanted to make this video a long long time ago, but I never had I never really had the chance. But now I do and we're today we're we're talking about Shovel Knight. This is going to be my Shovel Knight review. Um so yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> So in my other video, I believe it was uh, update week number one video, I was talking about how I had no clue what the heck Shovel Knight was about, and that I wanted the game even though I didn't know what the heck it was about. And so um, the day I did the video, November 4th, was when the game was out November 4th for Wii U and, th for Wii U and 3DS. And Thankfully, um, my grandma took me to GameStop, like always, and I got to buy uh, the game. And it was uh, surprisingly cheap. I thought it was going to be really expensive, but it was 25 bucks. And I guess it's because it's an indie game, and indie games really don't make it to like big huge. But I got the physical copy of the game, and it is amazing. If I could show you guys, I don't think I have the case. But I got the case, and it, I mean, oh, it is amazing. I never thought I would fall in love with an 8-bit game currently. I mean, I enjoy the classic, you know, Nintendo games, uh, uh, any, you know, classic 8-bit games. I like the uh, uh, Super Mario series, I like the Punch-Out series, love the Punch-Out series. I like uh, the Sonic series, but this game is just it's so addicting, and it's so well-written, and so, it's... Uh, unexplainable it's amazing though the gameplay is fantastic uh, as soon as I put in the game uh, they didn't even give you any instructions they have an instruction manual but the, like the first level didn't give you any instructions and it was like all right what do you do what do you do with the shovel oh, sweet you can you know do the up down I mean the be down for the shovel attacks I'm like wow and like the, the gameplay is fantastic it's amazing I highly suggest if you want an adventure puzzle-ish type game, you get Shovel Knight because Shovel Knight is one of a kind. And uh, originally it was on the eShop for I believe like 20 bucks for digital download, or I think it was someone told me that it was a giveaway for free at first, and then you had to pay for it, and now you can get the physical copy uh, for Wii U and 3DS. And I'm just loving it. When I put on the 3D on the 3DS. It's 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 good 3D, but it's got that like layered depth, you know. It's not like that like Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, you know, real life. It's it's a 8-bit game, so you know you gotta have some <laughs> some pixels. Um, the boss battles are amazing. You there's no strategy, you know. It's not a strategy type boss battle. It's more of like you know. Use whatever you can. Use whatever strategies you have. Use whatever attacks you can uh, use on those uh, bad guys to, you know, defeat them. And that's that was really really interesting to me because you know usually when you play a boss, um, usually when you play a game and there's a boss battle, there's like a specific uh, way you have to kill them. But there's no specific way you have to kill any of these bosses. You just do it, and they die. <laughs> and uh, the the others content um i noticed was pretty awesome uh sorry i'm trying to think um i noticed in game there was armor and i mean i originally liked the like the blue diamond type armor that you get but um you can like change whatever armor you have you can change it from like red armor to like green to like I think purple, I believe, but I stuck to like red. I've I've no clue because that's what I could like pay for, and that was the amount of uh, coins and whatnot I had. And the, yeah, the gameplay was really really simple. It was really really fantastic. It was a great game for an indie game, and I'm glad that uh, Yacht Club Games made this this game uh, for me to play. And it's so awesome you can take it around with you. And there's also other platforms that I think it's on. I think it's on Steam. It's on 3DS, Wii U, PS Vita, I think Xbox or Xbox One. And there, I think it depends on which platform you get. 
that uh, like random appearances will appear. Like I saw like Kratos for uh, PlayStation appear, and I saw um, what else? A couple of other things. <laughs> that would be awesome if like Little Mac or like Mario appeared came out of uh, the 3DS version. But yeah, guys, that's my uh, Shovel Knight review. I hope you guys really um, enjoyed my review, and I really suggest that you get the game because the Amiibo's coming out, and uh, I'm getting the Wii U version for Christmas, so when you put on the Amiibo, bam, you can do two-player support. So yeah, guys, that's my review. I hope you guys get Shovel Knight. Um, if you like my content, please subscribe to me. Uh, if there's any other concerns you want from me, please put it in the comments below. And thumbs up on this video if you like what you see. And until next time, guys, this is DJ Frostbite signing out. See ya.